pregame.com. The bright lights of Sunday night football on Odell Beckham and his tiring antics. This is Brad Powers in the pregame.com studios just off the Vegas Strip. We're talking NFC, the New York Giants at Green Bay. Giants were terrible Monday night football, as was Beckham. Who you like in this game? Actually going to play against them again this week. That's right. We're going to take Green Bay minus 7.5. Why do I like the Packers in this one? It doesn't get much bigger of a situational edge in the NFL this year. Green Bay off a bye. Not just lately. In McCarthy, their head coach's entire career in the regular season, 9-1 and one against the spread off a regular season bye. Meanwhile, Fez already mentioned it. You got the Giants coming off of not only a Monday night football game, it was against a physical Minnesota team. Short week traveling up to the north again in this one. I like Green Bay minus the points. You know, one thing I really like about Green Bay here also is they started out a little choppy with the season, and I attribute part of that to four straight road games. Two to end the preseason, then they go ahead and start the year. They have to play at Jacksonville, then they had to go at the Vikings, and it really seemed like they were on fumes in that game against Minnesota after having played those four games. Yeah, Green Bay definitely trending in the right direction, not only health-wise, but let's talk about Aaron Rodgers. In that last game against Detroit, first time in 16 games, he had a passer rating above 100. Yeah, one concern I have with this game and the matchup is the Giants, the stats, they're actually good, 0.9 yards per play, better than their opponents on average, and the Packers minus 0.4, which really surprised me, your second handicapping point. Yeah, a little bit of a concern there, but here's why I like this one for the second reason. You got misleading game in Green Bay's last one against Detroit. They ended up winning by seven. But if you look at that score early, 31-3 to at one point over Detroit before they let off the gas pedal. And this one's courtesy of the boss, Mr. R.J. Bell. Last 16 games for Green Bay at home, they have outscored their opponents in the first half 318 to 100. Yeah, I love it. I saw the game spot on. They totally just mailed it in in the second half. Let's make it official. Yeah, let's make this official. We're taking Green Bay minus seven and a half. Huge situational edge here for Green Bay. Misleading game against Detroit, giving the extra line value. Packers roll. We'll have more videos at pregame.com.